I'm here in Milton Keynes at Banner Times Health Club with Steve, who's playing Gene Hackman, aka Lex Luthor. So this is the Winter Gardens in uh, Milton Keynes. This was what was used as the, uh, the original set for the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art in 2004. This is Ian. You'll see that he's got a much better camera than me. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the idea of the making of documentary being mm. much better shot than the actual yeah, thing. I do, to be honest. Did it feel like you were inhabiting Gene Hackman? Oh, definitely. Yeah, oh, definitely. That's, that's what yeah. it looked like to me. Did you have a kind of metal hook? Yeah. 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 A very exhilarating experience would be the right way to put it. Yeah. I think it's a amazing concept and to celebrate the 30 years of it being made here in Milton Keynes and do something like this is absolutely amazing. Oh. <laughs> it's just really strange to think that this was filmed here. Um, I never really thought about it before. <laughs> I just want to see the finished result. <laughs> oh, it's great fun. Um, I mean, it's just great, it's great to be invited, to be honest, to be able to sort of take part in this. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of an honour, really. I think, I'm just going to check the shot list, Steve, but I think yeah. we might have got all the shots here. OK, where's my shot list? <laughs> we'll do that next. I'm the lady at the bottom, she's standing there with her arms clasped, and then she claps hands as she walks up the stairs. It's going to be great. <laughs> people are astounded, although some people do know about it. This morning I've been looking at a bouncy ball. Oh yeah, I mean I'm a big Superman fan. Um, I knew it was filmed in MK. I didn't know this scene actually, so uh, this is new to me, which is pretty cool. I think, do you know what, when you speak to people, a lot of people are quite proud of it. And also the, um, the Cliff Richard video, a lot of people always mention it in pubs and at restaurants. Oh, did you know Superman 4 was filmed this? So I think it's actually uh, quite a cool thing. The owner of the Daily Planet, David Warfield, is going to get his come up and say, losing his, his control of the newspaper. Very sad. Yeah, we're about to do the Daily Planet scene where we get Daily Planet back, I think. <laughs> I've been watching the film, the scene, loads of times previously before this week, so I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> The year this was shot was actually the year I was born, so it's been amazing. It really has. I really, really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, and come over once right. you're done. Oh, you've got to go. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. Richard needs you, so please go ahead. Okay, bye. Right. <laughs> Pretend this is an escalator. Do you know the line? Yep. You better have a yep. good Okay, yep. let's try it. Yep. One, two, three, go. You better have a good explanation, White, for you'll be talking to your lawyers from jail. That's perfect, yes. That timing works very well. So this is your eye line, that's how we there. You better have a good explanation, White, or else you'll be talking to your lawyers from jail. That's beautiful. You can go, you can go slightly slower. Yeah, that's like Austin. Yeah, I'm going to try and change my costume. I'm well, probably boys. move my uh, parting from the left to the right in order to not be recognised in the crowd scene, you know. Shot 51 complete. We've got shot 52, shot 53. So we'll see a few of you at the beginning of the shot, and then as the shot pans over, we'll see a lot more. Good. We're um, removing this Warfield 
publications sign and we're putting that to one side because Daily Planet are now um, back in business. It was a little bit scary on top of the ladder but um, it's because those are old-fashioned ladders and um, only I could do that role because um, I'd had special training. Where did you find 80s ladders from? 80s ladders, well, we got those from um, a really wonderful man called Chris Bridgman. It started actually about a year ago and we talked about this idea and I went, mmm, mmm. <laughs> but uh, um, I've gradually um, realised how popular it is, how it just appeals to people of so many different ages. There's something really important about, you know, people revisiting their recent history. We arrived here in this kind of moonscape, landscape of Milton Keynes when it was being built and, uh, and you know, it's taken a while for it to, to accrue an identity. Uh, that sounds good. So that's me yeah. trying to be intelligent, having had three hours sleep. Uh, we stuck loads of decals on the windows of the uh, home retail place, and um, I've made sort of the signs as well. I was just mark pen. I think um, it's too good for what he wanted. <laughs> yeah. Richard, yo, is that just, too close? Just, it's the final shot at the Daily Planet foyer. Um, the problem is um, there used to be two escalators here, but now there's only a single staircase. So spatially, I'm just deciding whether or not to stay to the fidelity of the shot or if we should move slightly so that the staircase is in the right place. So that's, that's what's going through my, my face. Lois, you're about here. And uh, Jimmy, you're about here. You run over to these guys who are wheeling the newspapers along and have the newspapers. And you, Mr. Warfield, are now a minority shareholder. Action! Okay, that was good. Um, so remember to pat him on the back. Yeah. The finale of the, of the film. And it's been a real good day's filming. I only knew about it when I first saw the advert online. So I watched Superman 4. And when I came here yesterday, I got promoted to be an editor. So. It's, it's amazing. It's really exciting. Um, telling all my friends about it. Perry, you get in this picture too. Oh, please, yeah. Richard, yes. do you want the pergola still? That's good. We I left that good. pergola. Yeah. We left it at the home retail uh -huh. Not very good yesterday. Do you want it? <laughs> Richard, you're going to ask the question. I know. He's, and he's avoiding the question, isn't he? I know. He's just like, look, he's so obsessed with his self image. <laughs> the pergolas at home retail group. Yeah, do you want it? We've done 59 shots now. Um, out of a complete total of 82. 82 and we've still got a whole afternoon left so long as nothing bad happens with the weather and that the crane that we're going to use for the flying sequences that's a bit of an unknown quantity we've never tried that before Ian and I've been interviewing everybody behind the scenes getting their stories what's that, been, what's that been like well it's been interesting actually how many fans of the film are taking part. Mm. I think you've been whistling through the shots and uh, that's probably because people really know what they're doing, which mm. is great. I noticed you've got your Superman badge on. Are you a fan of the film? I am, yes. Not the best, but, <laughs> but it was filmed here. That's the important thing. And so how did you feel actually taking part in the film? Really excited, really excited. As soon as we saw it on Facebook, it was, we must apply and be in it. Uh, yes, it was produced by Canon and uh, the guys that own Canon were pretty much insane and they did 20 to 30 films a year and Superman 4 was one of them. They were uh, quite lucrative and then they went bust. <laughs> Cliff Richards' Wired for Sound pop video was filmed in Milton Keynes. When are we doing that? Um, next year. I, was, I wanted to do it this year but there was the whole, you know, there was a bit of um, uncertainty about whether or not he was going to be in prison or not. <laughs> so I thought people might not be that interested. But now, now that he's been exonerated, seemingly, to refresh my roller skating skills. Please. So you've seen that there's two documentaries about Canon films, right? Uh, yes, uh, I've They're seen the Electric really Boogaloo. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. You should watch that, Ian. Right, I will. They were crazy. Golan Globus, right? That's it? Yeah. yeah. And it was them going bust, really, that led to Superman having its budget slashed in half. That's why there's no... That's how that's it why got the here. visual effects are so bad. That's why it's in Milton Keynes.
So we've got thank, God, thank God for them. Yeah, yeah. Them to, yeah fantastic. 